But at the same time, I know like, oh yeah, one last thing, I'm not going to Houston to run. Oh man, clearing the Houston Marathon air. We're gonna talk, it's a crazy day. It's a crazy day, so I gotta run. We'll get on that, get on that uh, discussion later. I'm late to my massage. Hold on. Okay, massage is done, doing the little things. Coming to check out the, uh, the track in my neighborhood that is open to the public and it just so happens to be dirt. And we had a lot of snow about a month ago, but as you know, oh man, interesting. So I haven't been here in a little while, but look at this. Looks like it's pretty soft right now. That is fascinating. I wonder, so this is the inside lane right here and I'm all, I'm all about training on dirt if possible. This looks awesome. Okay, now supposedly we might be getting snow on Saturday, so two days from now. Hey everybody, oh man, we shall see, we shall see. And we're back from the pool, back from the sauna, big day, hon. Hold on, camera's just a little, here we go, there we go, all right, right shall we see this dinner? There's the time here because I'm making some good food. Aw, oh, good food. Christmas? Big day of running, my love, I'll tell you all about it. I know, I can't wait to hear. Okay, let's see this. Boom. Papa, Papa needs some food. Come on, veggies and chicken. Oh, hon, that is worthy. That is worthy of a butter my bread. That is worthy of a butter my bread. No, we don't need any. Meaning, just the, just the saying. Butter it, butter it. Wow. Okay. 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 Is that chicken? Uh huh. Delicious. There it is. There it is. Okay. Dinner was delicious. Putting back the tea now. Hope you had a great day, everyone. And I know right now uh, we all we need to get on the same page because I can sense uh, and clear the air around the Houston Marathon. So there's a little bit of confusion. I can sense it down in the comments as I'm reading through the comments and then also all over social media. So here's the deal. And especially for anyone who hasn't been subscribed, let's say for more than three months, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to make it to the Olympics as a runner. Seriously, since I was in seventh grade, I always wondered, huh, could I be an Olympian someday? All right, so just putting that out there. But what did I post on Strava three days ago? I said, I'm an optimistic realist, an optimistic realist. So where does that realist come into play? You also need to know your talent level, okay? So I actually, ha I think I have a pretty good sense of where my talent level uh, lies. So what is the next best option from the Olympics? The Olympic trials. So this is why everyone, because I realize, like listen, you gotta be top three. Out of 300 million plus US citizens, you have to be top three in the 5K, the 10K, the marathon, the 800. Like there's so few distance runners that ever reach that pinnacle of their career, their running career, uh, where they become an Olympian. It's incredibly hard, very, I would say it's one of the most hardest feats to accomplish in sports. Therefore, what's the next, next best option? The Olympic trials. So now, if the Olympics happened every year, I honestly would probably pass. So, okay, let me just back up real quick. So in order to qualify for the Olympic trials, because what for me, in my mind, that's the ne next best goal for me since I've been dreaming about this since seventh grade, uh, is the Olympic trials. But in order to qualify for the Olympic trials, they can't just let anybody come show up in Atlanta for the marathon in February. You'd have thousands of runners show up. So you have to run 
under, for everybody that doesn't know, for men, it's under two hours and 19 minutes. Oh boy, for women, I think it's under two hours and, is it 43 minutes or 41 or 45? Oh boy, sorry, I don't know that. Um, I'll put it on the screen right now. All right, there it is. That's the time that the women have to run for the B standard in order to qualify for the Olympic trial. So I have tried twice in my life ever to run a marathon on the roads and I ran 223 in Amsterdam and 224 in New York City. So, and I did it back to back in a two week period. You're probably wondering, Seth, why the heck would you ever do that? Well, if you haven't heard the story about my mom and the drunk driver, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's a, it's a very hard story to share. Go watch that vlog, upper right hand corner. I lay it all out as to why I ran in, cause there's been a lot of pushback as to why I did the New York City Marathon. I did it for my mom. Okay, leaving that at that. Okay, so therefore, now there's one more chance, really. It's Houston, January 19th, to run under two hours in 19 minutes. And then, kind of, you know, out of the blue, I've never had a knee injury. I haven't had a knee injury since high school. I get this runner's knee about two and a half, three weeks ago, and it's a doozy. It does not feel great. I've seen the doctors. I'm, I'm going to physical therapy, as you saw today. What they are telling me is that if the pain is not getting worse, okay, especially like when I'm running, okay, if the pain is like today, if the pain is not getting worse, I can keep moving forward, all right? So that is why, and I'm gonna tell you what I did today in one second, that is why I'm attempting to run the Houston Marathon. It's been a lifelong dream, and let's just be real, real here, 2020, Tokyo, 2024, Paris. I'm not saying I'm not gonna be running at a high level on the roads in 2024. I'm not saying that. Yeah, in fact, I would say I'm going to be probably running at a high level on the roads, in that's one of my goals, but it's four years away. And Houston is three weeks away. So I'm at a, can you, you see this position I'm in right now? It's a very, very difficult in my mind, but again, what am I keep saying? I'm taking it day by day, day by day, day by day. And so today's run, oh gosh. Now listen, I know there's gonna be some question. Oh, this is one more point and then I, I promise I'll wrap up. I cannot listen. So I've probably gotten tw 10 to 20 text messages, probably 30 emails, and probably 50 messages all over social media about people, from people, sharing their opinions on what I should do for Houston. And I appreciate that. But I'm gonna make a tip of the day here. You have to trust your process, not the process, not my process, your process, meaning your training schedule, and more importantly, your training philosophy. If you don't believe in your own training philosophy that you have created or that you've created with a coach or that you've uh, downloaded off the internet and it's working for you, if you don't believe in that, you get, there's really no, it's not gonna work. It's just, it's, it's gonna get too difficult mentally and frankly, you're probably not gonna put in the work uh, when it needs to be put in, okay? So I appreciate your opinions but just so you know, I'm sticking to what I believe in, okay? So, because there's just been a little, uh, you're, what, what I'm about to tell you, okay, 21 miles today, 6.30 a mile. The first three miles was a pain scale of three to four, and then it went down to zero. So for 18 miles, I ran at a zero pain scale. That's good news. That is very, very good news and I'm really glad I did. So what do I believe in? I believe in aerobic, baby. I believe in the engine. I believe in not hitting the wall. That's why I went 21 miles today. You know how I train. And yes, I, I will go fast before Houston, but at the same time, I know like, oh yeah, one last thing. I'm not going to Houston to run two hours and 30 minutes. No, 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 no. If we're gonna give this a go together, if we're gonna try and go chase this down, I'm gonna give it my best effort. So that's why I'm really gonna wake up in the morning, see how it feels, and frankly, I need to really make a decision by Saturday or Sunday as to whether or not we're gonna go after this together because there's no reason, as I've already said, to put my body through another three weeks of training, 
to put my knee through another three weeks of training at frankly a high level because I don't care what anyone says I know my talent level okay and that's just like and I know I'm kind of I know I'm kind of getting after getting after you maybe a little bit and every but it's like you got to know your talent level and I know what like if I just go out and run 50 miles next week 30 miles like I'm not gonna run 219 there's just I'm sorry I'm not gonna I know because I I know what how much work I put into Amsterdam and what I ended up there even though I went out too fast and so anyway all right I'm gonna get off my high horse gonna get off my high horse I love you all thanks for being here thanks for listening to that I got a little excited a little bit of a rant but that's good news so far like so far so good all right question of the day um do you feel that you are cued in to your pain scale okay and i know that's a little weird maybe you've never thought about a pain scale but i actually think it's really important and i and here's what's crazy i think we all have different pain scales because we're all wired a little differently um our bodies are built differently and our ner- anyway our nervous systems are just it's everything's a little different so your pain scale but and if so um when do you start to get a really concerned on your personal pain scale let's call it zero to ten and so like 10 being obviously you can't run for me i think around a seven i really start to struggle to run so anyway that's the question of the day i love you thanks for listening to that onward and upward i'll keep you posted i will keep you posted all right there you go everyone we're going to toss it back to of course amsterdam and new york amsterdam and new york right will be amsterdam left will be the new york city marathon all right everyone see beauty work hard and love each other go get it now see you tomorrow